Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the first of probably many videos that I show you. Mine Factory Reloaded, I think the mod is called. In this video, I'm going to show you my game. It's Rock, Paper, Scissors. I've built one with Red Power, but this is a lot different. So firstly, I'm going to show you how it works. So, no, you notice that I clicked this button and nothing came up. It's so... You, do, you don't need to push the buttons at the same time. Because that would be pr pretty easy to cheat them. So when I punch, punch this button here, you'll see the lower lamps lighting up and the middle row. The middle row means it's a tie. The right lamps here means that the right player wins and the left lamps means the left player wins. Pretty easy. As you see now, the left player won and the black button is just a reset. So that's how it works when you play it. can show you here. So there's a different color for each button here. This box is just a backup, so don't worry about that. And here, all of its sections has one color. Let's see. So this section is blue, this is white, orange, magenta, green, lime, yellow, light blue, and brown or something. <coughs> So this is an expanded pro programmable box, or what they called. Let's see here. It's one of these. And there's actually a lot of these, the biggest expansions. So you just place it in the world, and you right click. So here. This is the first page. page. It's an errors latch. It's it's uh, remembering which button you pressed. So in this case, it remembers the white button from the east side. That's here. And this value will reset it. And its output it is one, and it has no no inverted uh, outputs. Here's the difference. Here is let's see. Here. The reset number is different and the color and these. There's, these are pretty much the same. Here's an OR gate. So if orange and magenta is pressed, it gets a value. That's this. It's resetting. this one. So it can't be have a signal that's in magenta or orange and white at the same time. So you can only have one of the three different colors memorized at the same time so you can't cheat. Like having rock, paper and scissor when you are only supposed to have one. So I have one of these for every one. So for white, yellow, and what not. Same here. Just different outputs for resetting. And here's what determines if the player numbers can be shown on the screen or at least the next step is. Here is all the different outputs from the first uh, free from the first player. It's the outputs from the SR latches. Here, here and here. So if one of these are on, the variable seven is the output. This is the same but for the left hand player and the variable is eight. So here you must have eight 
for white to come out as here must have eight so one of the left hand players must one the left hand player must have chosen one number or yeah pressed one of the button for orange to show and this is for magenta and this is for the left hand player let's see what are these and outputs let's see here this determines the winner so the variable 1 and 4 gets one output it's 9 and I can't have a color here that shows the winner because this cube can't output the same color from the same way or something. It's something wrong, I think. So it didn't work, so I had to do this way with an annotate. So when 1 and 4 is pressed, it's yellow and uh, not yellow, white and um, light blue is pressed, we get 9 as an output. Or not an output. A variable. Same thing here, but with 1 and 5. So the first one was a draw. This one is a, or a draw, a tide. This one, I think, one is winning. And I think this one, uh, the one is losing. Or probably the opposite way, that I said. But these are just the same. And if you want to make this game, you could probably just copy everything. So here's an OR gate. You saw all the different variables. So these variables here, all these ones, they got out here. So all the ties are here in an OR gate. So if one of these is valid, the output is green. And if the next one is one of these are valid, the output is brown. This is the three different ways for brown to occur. For the left player to win or the right. And this is just the last one of these. And let's see. Here's some empty ones. And here's my reset button. It's just black input and goes through the resets for all the SR latches, all of these, as you see here. So this is my game. It doesn't have a um, bot yet, but I haven't figured out how the randomizer works in this mod yet, so I might make an updated video that shows you how that works. So if you like the video, like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions leave a comment and I will hopefully answer it as quickly as I can and see you